Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Co-Elevation Realty. And I'm here for your market minute. Uh, and uh, it's November, 2022. The Toronto Real Estate Board has just released their October numbers. And I've got a little analysis for you and uh, obviously money, money and numbers talk. Uh, so be sure to check out our website because we've given you some um, percentages of the not complete GTA, just the 416, which is where we focus on. And uh, they're pretty interesting. So starting right off the top, where are prices? That's always the question. And uh, so we're looking at year over year, say a year ago, prices were about 10% higher than they are now. And that's for detached. So it kind of goes, it, it's actually a bit less for semis and uh, for condos and townhouses and that sort of thing. So not a huge, huge drop. Um, at this point, and that's uh, because we're kind of looking year over year. We're not looking the last six months. There was a huge runaway train, uh, as you all know, from, uh, a, you know, probably peaked around February of 2022. And um, so we're a lot less than that, probably. But, you know, if you kind of look back a year, maybe a year and a half that's uh, ago, we're in that sort of territory. And that's actually pretty good. Of course, most people have owned their properties for many years, you know, seven, approximately seven years is is how often people move. And uh, so, you know, there's been a huge increase since then. So equity wise, you know, your equity is still in pretty good shape. Um, obviously, interest rates rising has affected uh, buyers and their affordability. And that's why prices are, um, you know, going down as interest rates go up. So, um, you know, boots on the ground, we are here working with buyers and sellers every day. And we're actually seeming and feeling from a lot of clients that things are not as down in the dumps as maybe the media uh, is portraying. And that's probably because there's really a lack of inventory. And when there's less number of listings, uh, that sort of solidifies the market. You know, obviously those you probably heard about the rental market this year and how it was going crazy, crazy, crazy too. And um, that's because there weren't enough listings for the number of people wanting to rent. And again, uh, low inventory uh, helps the market and we're definitely there. So when we're looking at number of transactions, uh, they are down significantly. So that's that's a pretty wow number when you're looking at that because some in the detached category are down almost 60% from a year ago. Uh, if we're looking sort of year over year, number of transactions in October of 21 into October of 22. So that seems like a lot, which it is, obviously. Um, we also have to keep in mind that uh, the market was really hot back then um, and a lot of transactions were happening. So, you know, you also have to keep that in perspective on how many transactions in the grand scheme have happened. Um and when there's lower inventory and you've got lower transactions, then they're sort of uh, working together to keep it a little bit stronger. So that's where we're at today in this market. I would love to know what's going to happen in the future. Um, and just remember, you know, I'm always a big believer in number one is buying and selling in the same market. So, um, you know, even the same in six months ago, maybe you were selling and you, you know, benefited from that. But then on the buy side, you also paid for that. Uh, so in the same, you know, converse or whatever relationship, uh, if you're buying now, your prices are down. So bonus now, maybe when you're selling, it's also going to be a little bit down. So you're, but you're getting the benefit on one end or the other. So it's a really good market to buy and sell in. And also, uh, if you've, you know, you've built up your equity over time, that's always a good time. And, um, and of course people's lives, there are things happening in the big, in the world and interest rates aren't as nearly as high as some of the times in the in the previous history of, of real estate and markets. So we all just keep it in perspective. Um, we're here to help help you analyze and, um, you know, you make a decision for your own family and your own needs and uh, moving forward in your lives. So be, be sure to give us a shout and see if we can help you uh, make those decisions. Take care.